Today we are going to show you the best Canon camera you can buy right now. We have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best Canon cameras for you. For more amazing tech product reviews and suggestions please subscribe to our channel. We will try our best to present you with the best tech products that you can buy now. Products links in the description box. In this video we'll be covering Canon camera including what they are, why you may want to choose them and some of the best options out there. Number 5 Canon EOS R6 Mark II The Canon EOS R6 Mark II is a full-frame mirrorless camera with a sturdy construction, complete with extensive weather seals and a large ergonomic grip. The camera has Canon's excellent reputation for natural color rendition, and its deep-learned AI autofocus system recognizes subjects like people and animals, making it great for action, sports, and wildlife photography. The camera is capable of 4K UHD at up to 60p, using the full width of the sensor without a 1.07x crop factor. You can shoot 4K UHD internally from oversampled 6K capture, and there's no longer a 30-minute time limit per take. The camera has a maximum duration of 6 hours for a single clip. At the maximum 12 frames per second shooting rate with the mechanical shutter, the camera can take 1,000 shots or more when using a fast SDXC UHS-2 card in JPEG, HEIF, and compressed RAW quality modes. At 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter, it can take 140 to 190 shots. You can fire a burst of up to 15 RAW quality shots in a half second before fully pressing the shutter release button. The camera has an electronic viewfinder with a 0.5-inch, 3.69 million dot OLED screen that produces a generously large and finely detailed viewing image. It is a little shorter and shallower than the EOS 6D Mark II DSLR, and both are practically identical in weight at 1.5 pounds. Number 4 Canon EOS R50 The EOS R50 is a lightweight and compact camera that weighs only 375 grams when equipped with a battery and memory card. However, it has a small grip which limits its usability for larger lenses. The camera has only one dial to change settings, and to switch between shutter speed and aperture in manual mode, you need to press the exposure compensation button. Nevertheless, the camera is ideal for beginners who are used to using smartphones, as it can be easily controlled using its touchscreen. The 2.95-inch touchscreen is of good quality, with a 1.6 million dot resolution. It is also fully articulated, making it useful for selfies and vlogging. The electronic viewfinder is relatively small and has a low 2.36 million dot resolution. The R50 has a solid hybrid phase detect autofocus that can track eyes, faces, heads, and animals, including dogs, cats, birds, and horses, as well as vehicles such as race cars, bicycles, trains, and airplanes. The system can either select the subject itself or allow you to choose it by tapping the touchscreen. The camera can shoot up to 12 frames per second in mechanical shutter mode or 15 frames per second in silent electronic mode. However, the small buffer and slow memory card slots limit the burst to 42 JPEG images or just 7 uncompressed RAWs. Apart from the usual shooting modes, the R50 also has creative settings for beginners, such as a plus advanced auto. If the camera detects a tricky scene due to high contrast or darkness, it takes 4 shots and combines them into a single JPEG image. The R50 can shoot in 4K 30p, which is not cropped but supersampled from 6K. The slow motion mode is limited to 1080p, but it can shoot up to 120 frames per second, with 60 frames per second being considerably sharper. The video quality is excellent, with an oversampled video that is very sharp and accurate colors. The autofocus is also outstanding, with tenacious tracking that keeps focus sharp in most circumstances. Finally, the camera has a close-up demo mode, which quickly switches focus from your face to any object you bring up to the camera, much like Sony's product showcase mode. Number 3 Canon EOS R10 The Canon EOS R10 is a small camera that is familiar to those who have used a Canon DSLR. It has a fully articulating touchscreen that can flip forwards for video shooters, as well as an AF joystick. One of the most appealing aspects of the EOS R10 is its combination of modern autofocus features and quick burst shooting speeds. The camera can shoot at 15 frames per second with its mechanical shutter or 23 frames per second with its electronic shutter. Although the camera's buffer couldn't maintain these speeds for as long as the official specs claim, 
it was able to shoot uncompressed RAW files at 15 frames per second for one second using the mechanical shutter before slowing down to around 7 frames per second. When shooting JPEGs, it was able to keep going at 15 frames per second for 6 seconds before dropping to around 12 frames per second. The EOS R10's battery life is comparable to other mirrorless cameras, with a SEPA rating of 340 shots per charge or 210 if you're solely using the EVF. Although Sony cameras tend to fare slightly better, this is only just below par for mirrorless cameras. The camera has a new 24.2 MP sensor, but it isn't backside illuminated, BSI. Despite this, the image quality is impressive, with clean and detailed photos up to ISO 1600, pleasing colors and skin tones. The noise only becomes slightly noticeable from ISO 3200, but results are still usable at ISO 6400. ISO 12800 and above should only be used in particularly gloomy situations. In addition to its photo capabilities, the EOS R10 can shoot 1080-120p slow MO and has an HDRPQ mode that delivers 4.2.210-bit quality. Unfortunately, there's no flat log option on the EOS R10. Number 2 Canon EOS R5 the Canon EOS R5 is a lightweight camera that is easy to handle compared to older DSLRs. Despite its bulky appearance, it feels delicate and less shockproof than older setups. It has a screen on top and a fully tilted touchscreen display. Additionally, the right thumbstick and rotating dial on the back make an appearance and are a welcome throwback to older versions of Canon's professional camera setups. The R5's numbers are exemplary with its speedy processor and professional storage options keeping up with the large file sizes and high-resolution outputs. The camera has a CF Express slot available as a backup to an SD card slot. In our testing, we found no problems using high-grade SanDisk Extreme Pro cards. However, we recommend researching and purchasing a high-speed card to cater to the R5's file sizes. The R5 uses a brand new processor unit and the first one with inbuilt body stabilization. It works very well, stabilizing dark scenes and low light conditions and enabling the detail in shadows and blacks to be reclaimed in Lightroom. The autofocus system is one of the fastest we've used, with tracking that is probably the best in class and accurate face, eye, and head detection that makes portrait, sports, or action photography a breeze. Continuous focus mode doesn't have problems keeping objects or people focused, even in dynamic situations. For video, the R5 hasn't been designed with filmmakers in mind but boasts incredibly grandiose specs, offering the possibility of uncropped 8K recording in RAW. However, overheating and battery problems aren't uncommon. It is overkill for most people's needs, and normal HD at 120fps is still silky smooth and lovely to shoot. Number 1 Canon EOS R3 The Canon EOS R3 camera has a big camera grip body that gives it a look similar to that of a DSLR and mirrorless camera. It has dual controls for both landscape and portrait shooting modes, including a matching shutter button, dials, and a joystick. The camera weighs 2.3 pounds, including a battery and memory card, which is relatively light compared to Canon's 1DX Mark III, which weighs 3.17 pounds, and the EOS R5, which weighs 1.6 pounds. The 3.2-inch touch display has a 4.15 million dot resolution, nearly double that of the R5. The display also flips out for low-angle shooting or vlogging, though the R3 may be a bit heavy for the latter. The 5.76 million dot OLED EVF is similarly sharp and offers a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. It comes with USB-C for data transfers and in-camera charging but requires an optional accessory to power the camera externally while shooting. The OS R3 is a speed demon, with the shutter going up to 1 64,000th of a second in electronic mode faster than any other consumer camera. It supports fast bursts up to 30 frames per second in silent mode or 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. You get those full speeds with uncompressed and not just lossy RAW files. The EOS R3 features a new 24 megapixel sensor, which offers at least a stop more dynamic range than the EOS R5, giving you more room for adjustment with RAW images. JPGs also look great straight out of the camera, with well-balanced sharpness and noise reduction. You can shoot DCI 6K RAW at up to 60 frames per second using the full width of the sensor. It also supports full-frame 4K shooting at up to 120 frames per second using all-eye capture, 
albeit with subsampling that can reduce detail. All other 4K modes at 60p, 30p or under support full sensor oversampling, allowing for extremely sharp video with fine detail. You can also use an APS-C crop for natively sampled pixel-for-pixel -pixel 4K footage that's just a touch less sharp. All of the best Canon cameras are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which Canon cameras would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.